Hi, I'm Jason from the Erie Tool Works Company. Today I'm going to show you how to assemble an SE100 wheelbarrow. Um, this wheelbarrow comes in two variants. You can get it with a pneumatic tire or you can get it in a flat free version. Again, this is a single piece frame style wheelbarrow. This one here is more designed for homeowner grade projects, things around the house, maybe even some light landscaping. Uh, single piece frame, so it only takes seven bolts to put together, shouldn't take any longer than 10 to 15 minutes. And it's got, you know, nice wide legs, nice uh, poly grips. It comes with a, about a six and a half pound poly tray. Uh, it's good for, again, a lot of yard work type projects. So without further ado, I'm gonna get started putting this together and showing you how to do it. So with the SE100, it comes in two variants. You can get it with the pneumatic tire that you see here, or you can get it with the more popular flat free tire. Um, it does come with Preston bearings. If you just come over here, you'll see the bearings are inside. They rotate nice and smooth. The first step, what you're gonna do is take the bolts out of the axle that's supplied, and you're gonna basically put the axle through just like that. And then you're gonna go down the frame, turn the frame upside down and connect the axle. All right, with the SC100, you'll notice that there's actually two drill hole positions for an axle. I strongly recommend the rear hole because it's better for leverage with heavier loads. It gives you a better tipping point and a better dump angle. So I've connected the bolt here through the rear hole and I recommend you do the same. The front hole is really for light loads. So what you do is you put the axle through and then you put your bolts on, the, on each end once it's in position and you're going to grab your half inch deep socket and you're just going to tighten them up. Okay, so the next step is we've got the wheel already fastened onto the wheelbarrow. We've snugged that up. Now we're going to take the green tray here. This is the homeowner landscaper, light landscaper gray tray. And we're going to attach it to the wheelbarrow. And it's really simple to do. All you have to do is just pull up on this front brace here, line it up with the hole in front, get it into place. I can start to see daylight through this here. And I'm just going to fasten it with the bolts that come. So you're going to use these one inch bolts. You're going to put it through the tray and on the back side you're going to use a washer lock washer and nut okay so now you have now you see the se100 uh, again it both comes in an air tire or you can get it flat free uh, we've just put it together it only takes about 15 minutes it goes together with seven bolts bolts are in there now i'm just going to go over here i'm just going to do a little bit of tightening here with the half inch socket and just going to tighten down all the nuts Okay, so there you have it. The wheelbarrow is now assembled. Like I said before, it does not take long to do. Uh, this is a great homeowner grade wheelbarrow for jobs around the house. If you're moving some dirt or light mulch, this is ideal. It's a very lightweight wheelbarrow. Females love it because it's very maneuverable. Uh, we've seen a lot of growth in the flat free tire, so I do recommend getting the flat free tire because you're never going to have headaches down the road like you may have with the pneumatic tire. And it's just a great wheelbarrow for around the house. So if you're looking for this, look for the Erie logo. It's a sign of quality and look for it at a retailer near you.